Welcome to part two of what if, or reason why I put one slash two in the one in the first one that was before this video is because the Zuko, or not Zuko, I keep saying Zuko for some stupid reason. But the, the, basically, Zuku, or no, Beast Boy, or let's do a recap, the Beast Boy chased the brain and the, those into a portal into the mold, or the different dimension. There he got left behind, and everyone thought he was dead, but then the Teen Titans found him, and he was dating of her, and yeah, then the, yeah, so we are now on the part where The kids were born from the female way bad and then his and his body and both of them are just imagine having two who are these the s was like a single one. Yeah. So then he actually hold them in their hands. And yeah, so they do Yeah. They do a lot. And the and plus they built a house. And Moth, or Killer Moth says, how, how does it feel to be, like, the father of a two giant kids? Huh. Well, it's, it's actually pretty good. And the, it's just, that is just funny to me. The basically the as the some of the villains they don't like want to make female you know, way bad or Lulu yeah Lou Lou that's her code name name or actually. He gave her that name of Lulu. So, yeah, Lulu is her name. So, yeah. Like, take the funny name. Or they give their kids the... Is the basically, yeah. So, yeah, Starfire got married to Robin, Raven, and got married to the Cyborg. And they had kids. And the. Yeah, so the kids. Yeah. But he had a biggest house in the entire world. It makes sense because they're. So, yeah. And everyone, or all the villains, 
like, that were in brotherhood of evil. They all agree that if anyone, any of us tries to sneak in and, like, kidnap the kids, the every other, like, villain is, is like, will be there to stop him, to stop the camp. Because mm-hmm. everyone does not want to see the female way bad getting angry. Neither does, yeah. So, yeah. And when the kids got older, they were about to say, "Aim, nine, Ain't something really not very smart." So, yeah, basically, aim. The kids went from being like the same age as what Princess, whatever her name is, I forgot her name already, and to being the same size as their mothers. There's, yeah. And, so, yeah. The, everyone, like, Robin, Starfire, here, his child, grew to the same, like, same age as what they are. Yeah. And then... The Raven and Cyborg. I know. Magic and technology are like both. Everyone thinks that (laughs) magic is science. But the. It actually is not totally accurate. It's. Magic is basically the, is like an entire galaxy. You don't see a photocopier copier as our planet. Like copies the entire planet. Yeah. Heck, the, yeah. I think that's just crazy talk. So, yeah. But the kid inherits the Starfire's like magical powers and Cyborg's is like to control technologies basically. So, yeah. Everyone, like, some checks on the Beast Boys. Like, how's your kids doing? Well, they're pretty good. The Both of them wants to be heroes, just like how I am. How's your, or how's your wife doing? Pretty good. She's... <laughs> I should, like, take her with us to, like, because she knows that I'm a superhero and she, because in this alternate timeline, the female Wayback knows that she she got married to a superhero and she's supposed to be, like, a supervillain, tries to, but she's, she really, like, warmed up to Zuku. Or, no. She warmed up to B. 
Beast Boy. That's what I was meant to say. So, so basically, this is going to be, so the adventures of her, So, let's say there was a one mission where she was doing, like, the, like, committed a crime, and she says, huh, is your, her wife at the house? Huh. Well... She knew that the I was a pro hero or the hero. So I she wants to see what I've been like doing for all these years. So she came as she, they said who? There she is. <laughs> and the <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> and she explains that the... How she was going to plan to... Like, go to prom and... If anyone disobeys, then the moth comes out. As she roars a little bit, the these or the female way bad roars or like self growls, and she takes a her like gift thing. Like, it's supposed to be a, like, her favorite shirt, but somehow one one of the moths got into her, like, shirt thing and bit. And, and she, like... Oh, sorry. When I get... At to home, or when I'll get home, I'll tell my mother to have one of the moths, <laughs> or like you know. So yeah. So the yeah that. So she basically, yeah. All the villains, they like. Even a motorcycle guy is like, man. And you sure have a big wife of yours, yeah. The. So tell me again now, uh, how did you meet her? As the... One of the... You know how... You know Doom Patrol? Yeah. Well, I used to be on that team. And I went to... Chase the brain down through the portal. And then I'm in the no void. That's what... Her home world is called No Void. And, yeah. Brain and the monkey. He and the stretch girl left. And ended up leaving him, leaving me behind and all that stuff. Yeah. 
So, and why is she here, by the way? Um, the, she wants to know what I've been up to, like the, I want to show, demonstrate, like, how I'm a pro hero and, you know, oh, I see. <laughs> so, the, the villains are like, man, okay. So then, there's a girls' night out thing, and yeah, guys are like playing cards. Okay, so now this is the end of the what if. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, and go check out part one before this video. Bye.